This video is sponsored by VIPSCDKey.com. VIPSCDKey is a marketplace website where you can purchase game keys and software keys with no hassle. VIP SD key offers a legit Windows 10 Pro key for only $21. But to make it more awesome, they will be giving another 20% discount. Just type our coupon code XTNC to get it for only $15. If you're in the Philippines, purchasing is very easy. You can use PayPal, Paymaya, or GCash. Visit VIPSCDKey.com now. I'll put the link in the video description below. So, sa mga lagaan tayo ng Ryzen 7000 series, meron tayong local pricing. Okay. Hello guys, Action here, and we have more products, news, and shocking announcements recently. Bagong listing ng Ryzen 7000 series sa PC Hub, price info ng 600 series, motherboards ni MSI, may mga bagong monitors si Asus at ASRock, and EVGA parting ways with NVIDIA. So first news natin, incoming na ang Ryzen 7000 series sa local market for pre-orders. And PC Hub has started opening up pre-orders for these three CPUs, namely the Ryzen 9 7950X, Ryzen 7 7900X, and Ryzen 7 7700X. Take note lang natin na currently, mas mahal ang listed prices for these three CPUs. Compare lang din natin sa officially announced SRPs na 699, 549, and 399 respectively. So medyo may malaking mga markups compared to the launch prices. So laking ang um, ambag dyan guys yung uh, exchange rate ng peso to dollar. Kaya yeah, yeah, nasa 58 na po ngayon. Guys, mahal ang Ryzen 7000 series, even the motherboard. So sa release ng Ryzen 7000 series CPUs, magpapaalam na din tayo sa AM4 platform. With that said, if nakaset na kayo mag-jump in sa bagong platform, madami din kayong papalitan ng parts including RAM and motherboard. Unfortunately, mukhang mas mapapamahal ka dahil new reports are indicating that MSI's X670E motherboards will be arriving with higher price tags compared sa previous generation. We have the MEG X670E Godlike, MEG X670E Ace, MPG X670E Carbon Wi-Fi, and the Pro X670P Wi-Fi listed sa website ni MSI. Most expensive sa list ay ang MEG X670E Godlike at $1,299 followed by MEG X670E Ace at $699.99, then MPG X670E Carbon Wi-Fi at $479.99. And lastly, the Pro X670P Wi-Fi at $289. The motherboards are priced much higher compared to previous X570 motherboards by almost twice. For reference, at launch, MAG X570 Godlike was $699 lang. MAG X570 Ace was $369 and uh, MPG X570S was $269 lang. So how much pa kaya ang markup pag nag-launch na sila dito? So far, wala pang price updates for B650E and B650 motherboards. Pero hopefully, makakakita na tayo ng mas attractive na value out of them as price for them starts at $125. Punta naman tayo sa mga gaming monitors na ASUS. Kung naghahanap kayo ng OLED monitors, ASUS ROG has just announced two new Swift gaming monitors featuring OLED panels for that clarity and efficiency. First is the 42-inch ROG Swift OLED PG42UQ. It comes with a 4K resolution, 138Hz refresh rate, and 0.1 milliseconds grade-to-grade response time. It features the deepest blocks, 98% DCI-P3 color gamut, and Delta E less than 2 color difference. The second one is the larger 48 inches ROG Swift OLED PG48UQ. Ideal para sa mga gusto maglaro sa bigger screens. These are also G-Sync compatible monitors. These monitors come with a custom heatsink that offers more surface area para sa heat exchange. According to ASUS, it results up to 8% lower operating temperatures para sa better performance and longevity. What sets ASUS ROG OLED monitors apart sa standard glossy OLED panels ay ang special anti-glare micro texture coating. There's also the optional uniform brightness setting para sa comfortable viewing when you work or play. Nag-announce na si ASUS ROG ng SRPs for these monitors. The 42-inches PG42UQ cost 107,460, while the larger 48-inches PG48UQ cost 117,020 pesos. They will both be available Q4 of this year. So, daming brand ng pinapasok ang monitor market ngayon. So, si ASRA, ayan, malakas ang labanan sa monitor industry. So, down the line, we expect ang mga innovate features and gimmicks to set themselves apart from each other. 
what ASRAC had in mind para sa kanilang PG34WQ15R2B, ang haba ng pangalan, gaming monitor ay maglagay ng Wi-Fi antenna. May mga motherboards that features onboard wireless connectivity. So instead na nasa likod lang ng case mo ang antenna or naikli ang kasakable ng external antenna na kasama sa motherboard mo, may built-in Wi-Fi antenna na itong monitor ni ASRAC para sa stronger peak gain and to get rid of potential signal obstructions. The PG34WQ15R2B, ang haba ng pangalan, is a 34-inch ultrawide curved monitor that features a 1500R curvature, 165Hz refresh rate, and AMD FreeSync Premium. It's a VA panel, not IPS. So, meron siyang 3440x1440p resolution, VESA display HDR400, and 91% DCI-P3 and meron siyang sRGB 115% color space. For ports, it comes with dalawang HDMI 2.0 ports, isang DisplayPort 1.4, and isang 3.5mm earphone jack. May bundle na din to ng cable sleeve para mas malinis tingnan ang desk nyo. For the price, it listed sa Newegg for $429.99 at the time of this production. That's about 24,513 pesos pag kinonvert sa local currency natin. Wala pa currently sa local market listings natin, so we'll be sure to keep you posted pag may local availability na din. Bakit, EBJ? Bakit? Ito ang pinakanakagulat na news. The news came from several news announcements from Gamers Nexus, Chase Two Cents, and the official EVGA forum. Starting the RTX 40 series graphics cards, wala na tayong makikitang EVGA graphics cards. There's still stocks for current graphics cards ni EVGA, and those will continue to be sold. Magbibigay pa rin sila ng support dun sa existing current gen na graphics card. So pasok pa din ang warranty for existing customers with inventory being withheld para sa replacement ng cards as needed. Now, this move would make one think na lilipat ba sila to AMD or Intel. However, EVGA hasn't entertained the idea of working with them, sabi ni Andrew Han, CEO ng EVGA. Based reports, the reason for this ay dahil sa treatment daw sa kanila ni NVIDIA. Reportedly, multiple card manufacturers don't find out the basic info like cost of product until ma-announce ang SRP sa public. EVGA feels na ina-undercut sila ni NVIDIA by offering the Founders Edition card at a lower price point. O nga naman, malulugi nga man naman yung EVGA, di ba? About 80% of EVGA's revenue comes from graphics cards, 20% naman nagagaling sa power supply which have higher profit margin than GPUs by 300%. With that said, this scale of business partnership will likely trigger layoffs. Pero wala daw sabi ni Joe Darwin, Chief Branding Officer ng EVGA. So, punta naman tayo sa Grand Theft Auto 6 leaks. Ayan, mukhang malaki ang leak na nangyari sa Rockstar Games. Recently lang, the developer suffered a network breach. And ngayon, meron mga videos na nag-surface showing GTA 6 in its early stages. Not only that, pero pati na din ang source code and assets ng both GTA 5 and GTA 6. Unang lumabas ang leak sa GTA forum. Doon pinablish ni Tipa Tuber Hacker, ang post entitled GTA 6 Americas. Leak na naglalaman ng video showing in-development footage of the game. Mahirapan na din kayo maganap ng video sa YouTube and Twitter since nag-strike na si Take 2 Interactive ng DMCA takedowns. But basically, at first, it starts with a female character who's likely named Lucia over debugging elements. A scenario showing a male character with an NPC. Pinakita din doon how characters interact, how they move and react, game environment, various location ng map, police, object colliders, and manami pang iba. Of course, alpha version pa lang ito ng game. So hindi pa ito final build. Nag-respond naman si Rockstar Games regarding sa issue na kinonfirm naman nila na nag-leak nga. So nag-apologize din din sila dun sa nangyari. So there you have it guys. This has been Action. So see you again next time for more tech news.